In this video, we will learn about 3ds Max user interface or UI. It is important to know that 3ds Max is highly customizable. For example, my UART theme is dark, but yours can be light color. The theme color can be customized. You can change your theme to dark one, like mine, as it is easier on the eyes. The option can be found under the Customize drop-down, then Load Custom UI Scheme. There are three presets by default, mine is called Dark. After applying the theme, you will need to restart 3ds Max in order to activate the color theme. Ninety percent of the work is done inside 3ds Max viewports. By default, you should have four boxes when you load your 3ds Max. By left clicking, you can activate each viewport. On the left bottom of my screen, I have viewport layout tabs configuration. If I left click on the arrow, I see all presets that come by default. When I click on one of those thumbnails, 3ds Max will change the viewport configuration. The thumbnail at the left top corner is a single window viewport. This will be the most used viewport in this course. Each viewport can be adjusted by clicking and dragging on the line between them. For now, we don't need to know more about the viewport, so I will return to my viewport by default state. Navigating in 3ds Max is the most important thing you should learn. The entire workflow in this virtual staging course depends on navigating. After the course, you will be able to find and manipulate quickly your objects, navigating around the scenes and you will be able to shorten the amount of time needed for each project. At the bottom corner, there are a series of icons for navigation. Each of those icons have sub-icons. For example, if I click on Maximize Viewport icon, my Viewport 2 selected will be maximized. I will press maximize again to return to my default viewports mode and choose this time viewport number 4. I will repeat the operation again. Imagine what would be if you have to do this 10 times in a minute when working with real projects. Luckily, we can set shortcuts in 3ds Max. By default, the application has already shortcuts for navigation and maximize viewport can be activated by holding Alt and W on your keyboard. This will turn on and off this mode. With the globe icon, you can rotate inside the viewport. Activate the rotation tool and hold left mouse button inside the orange circle in your viewport. The hand icon is pan option. It means moving sideways, left, right, up and down. Click and hold left mouse button inside the viewport and move. The magnifier glass icon is zoom. It allows you to zoom in and out with the center of the selected object. The icon next to zoom is zoom all. This will allow you to zoom in and out over all objects. Next icon in this row is zoom extends selected. It will zoom and fill in the screen with your selected object. Next on the list is zoom extends all selected objects. The same operation, but this time for all objects in your scene. Next one is field of view. It resembles the zoom option, but with a difference that changes your focal length of the viewport. To demonstrate the shortcuts of those commands, I'll create a box. I'll go to Geometry and select Box. Click, hold and drag the left mouse button will create you the base of the box. When I release the button, I'll be able to adjust the height of that box. When I'm ready, I'll click left mouse button again to confirm the box. Then, I'll click the right mouse button to exit the menu. With the box selected, press and hold Alt plus middle mouse button and navigate around your objects. As you can see, if I select the globe icon, the results are the same. If I select the hand icon and pan, I will move around up and down left and right. Then, if I hold down the middle mouse button, the results are the same. So this is the shortcut for panning. If you scroll the middle mouse button on your mouse, you can zoom in and out of the objects. 
Remember, each set of shortcuts work based on what you have selected. One object, many objects or no objects at all. The view cube is another way to navigate inside your viewports. This is especially useful if you are on a laptop and don't have external mouse. On the cube, there are all sides of the cube which represents your scene orientation. If you select and hold with the left mouse button, you can rotate around the scene. We will not use this function in the course, except one very useful option. This little house icon there. When clicked, it will return your viewport at the default orientation. As mentioned already, 3ds Max is highly customizable. You can see some additional menus on my screen, which by default do not come with 3ds Max. At the top of your screen, there is so-called menu bar. It is similar to Windows and any other OS system toolbars. All icons and options there will be explained during the course in practice. We will use the ones needed for virtual staging and learn their shortcuts. If your screen size is less than 17 inches, part of your icons might be hidden and you will need to find where your mouse cursor becomes a little hand icon. Click, hold and drag the middle mouse button in order to reveal the rest of the icons.